Are you really ready for this life? Is this life really ready for you? Because, Auntie, we don't play around. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite Auntie Emma back on the camera. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you college tips because I've learned it this year, my freshman year. And I won't lie, freshman year cooked me. I was cooked, I was fried, I was burnt, I was even thrown out the window. Honestly, I'm glad that I experienced what I experienced because now I know I'm mature. But Lord, let me help you so you don't suffer like me. All right, let's just get straight to the video. Number one is major. First of all, you're going into college to get a degree in something specific so you can have that big job, big money, you know what I mean? But ask yourself, is that major going to give you that luxury life? One thing I've noticed from like the juniors and the seniors that I've met this year is that they majored in something that wasn't gonna give them that big money. Now they're struggling to even find internships, apprenticeships, even jobs. And the thing is, my school is known for giving out like good jobs right after graduating. In reality, yes, it is hard, but at the same time, why did you even choose that? One thing I've realized is that you need to major in something that will give you that life that you want. Do not major in hobbies. Do you hear me? No, 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 no. I want you to open your ears real good, real well. Open it. Do not major in hobbies. A lot of the times our passions are hobbies. They're not like big girl jobs that make big girl money. So as a hobby, just keep it as a hobby. If you truly want to make that passion of yours a job and you know it's not going to make you big bank, I'm not going to lie, college is not for you. You'll need to build your own business. Start from the ground up. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. For example, YouTube. Me doing YouTube, that is a hobby. It's not making me fat income right now, but if I build and keep Keep continuing five years down the line you feel me that money gonna be rolling in monetization will be looking real swell but in the meantime I'm in school so I can get a stable job that will at least provide me a good life that I want you know make me have money to travel with my other aunties and have fun in this life the whole point is be careful with picking your major at the end of the day this is your freshman year explore you can explore through electives you don't have to really do the core classes unless it's like really required but yes girl explore this is your time to actually figure out your life number two classes oh my goodness if you know you have a hard major like stem and you know you can't take all the sciences at once i mean honestly the schedule that they will give you as a freshman it will be a mixture of like core classes and major classes but if you know the major classes will get to you and it's actually finishing you like you're fried at this point like you're tired girl it's okay to balance out your schedule balance out your schedule you don't have to do your you don't have to do major classes. The person you're living with, your roomie. I'm not gonna lie, there was like a whole full week that everybody was beefing with their roommate, including me. I will say, get to know your roommate. Learn a little bit about them. What are their priorities? What are your morals? What do you guys not like? What do you like? Communication is one thing I very much really learned this year that you need to have. And don't be afraid to speak out about how you feel because at the end of the day, this is the same place that you're laying your head at. So now if you walk in and both of you people are shy and it's just a very weird vibe, that is not good, babe. I like to suggest to like become friends with your roommate. Now I'm not saying you have to become friends with your roommate, but at least build that associate foundation so you guys are cool and you guys understand where you're coming from. Hey, who knows? Your roommate might become your next bestie, so yeah. And that brings me to friends. I won't lie, I literally fell into like a fat friend group and it just disappeared within like two weeks later. I was still cool with everybody. I wasn't like the person that was in the drama, but drama is still a thing. College is literally 2.0 of high school like East Bar. Just don't let the drama get to you. Don't let the tea or whatever get to you. Obviously, if a person wants to vent to you, that is okay, but try not to get yourself wrapped into it. And Loki, that was the type of friend I was. Like people would come to me about their issues and I would just be like, well, I don't know what you want me to do, but I don't even one thing I realized is that you could just mingle with anybody. I'd rather have a few friends and a lot of associates than a lot of friends than a few associates. Try to diversify the people you get along with, the people you meet, the people you talk to. Because at the end of the day, you might meet somebody that actually can help you within your field or like connections when getting a job. As well as oversharing. Auntie, hold your lip. Do not overshare your business. You just got on. You're a freshman. Okay, you just got on there. Just don't tell your business, like you just got there, babe. You know, a lot of times we love to like connect with people and be ready to tell them about our life story and just like how we can relate, but you really don't have to be telling everybody your business. Cause that same person that will be smiling in your face, you'll turn around and see that that same person is sharing your business. Not everybody knows. Everybody knows who. I'm telling you, college is not what y'all think when it comes to like maturity. Like you think people are mature, but 
They're not. I know like old drama from like the juniors and the seniors that I've met this year. And I, I just got there, like I'm a freshman. Parties and school events. I mean, I've been getting closer with God, so I'm not gonna lie, you're not gonna see me at a party. But during my freshman year, I'm not even gonna lie, the parties get boring. They get repetitive, the songs are playing the same thing. Everybody's just standing, dancing for a second, and standing, drinking, smoking. It's not fun. And honestly, it's not worth it because it's taking away time from your study time and it's just, it's not up to the hype at all. I say go to a party every once in a while and always be safe, bring a friend with you, bring a reliable friend with you because some of these people, oof, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Like I've just heard so many stories about things that really could have been avoided if they just brought the right friend with them and, well, friend. But yeah, brought the right person with them because, aish, this world people are still evil. There's literally predators that go to college. And then when it comes to school events, I'm not gonna lie, go to those school events because they really do be, ooh, girl, I went to like some of these school events and if I didn't go, I would have known the opportunities that my school was offering. Please go to the events. It might sound boring. It might not be your cup of tea. But if you know it's really like related to your major or something you wanna do, I I mean, hello, I would kinda hope you would wanna go. <laughs> be involved with the school, I'm not gonna lie. Because you're low-key building your portfolio. Like you're building, not your resume on paper, but like your resume in person. Like physically, like people would know that you're getting out there. You're ready for these opportunities. You're the one to be the leader. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we're all running the same race like who's gonna finish the finish line you know all right let's get let's get into the juicy topic that everybody has been waiting for getting I'm not gonna lie, not even from a religious perspective, baby. I don't think I don't think you need to date. Now there's some people that are already dating and they got it locked in, they got it down like that. But if you do want to date, please be careful. Be careful. I kid you not, I've just I've heard too many things, y'all. I'm not trying to expose these people, but I've heard too many things. If you're already in a long distance relationship, obviously the main thing is just communication and just stick through it, like look it out. But if you're like single and you're ready to mingle, please ask yourself. Does this person priorities rely with mine? Cause we both here trying to get an education, but why is uncle trying to get my pants? Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, that hurt, didn't it? Cause it's the truth, it's the truth. But yeah, um, these boys are no better than high school boys. They're still immature. They will still play with you like right in your face. And same goes for the girls. The girls are worse too. I'm not even gonna lie, but both, both genders, both people, they will play your face. There's so many situationships out there and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's worth the stretch. You're literally in college, that is stressful enough. And now you have Mr. Man, Mr. Woman playing in your face like this. I kid you not, I kid you not, like literally, I'm not lying. I'm putting my hands up to tell you the truth. There was a chlamydia outbreak. Oh! Because these people wanted to get down. They don't play. They want to get down. And you know, no shame. Okay, maybe a little bit. Some of these people are cheating on each other. Yeah. And it's like, is it really worth the stress? And lastly, professors. I'm not gonna lie, these professors do not care. Walk out that room if you need a poop. Walk out that room if you need to pee. Hello, don't pee on yourself. You are a grown woman, you are a grown man. Honestly, I don't even know why high school wanted us to, to come and raise our hand, do this and that. Like, there's some things that high school needs to stop doing so we're actually prepared for the world because now we will sit there and embarrass ourselves and raise our head very high in the sky just for the teachers to be like, what? Even when it comes to, like, answers, you know how, like, in high school people be like, oh, stop shouting out the answer, raise your hand, raise your hand. In college, they're actually begging you to shout it out. Like, they're begging you to speak. And honestly, I think you should connect with your teachers. Like, my freshman year, I'm not gonna lie, I really was shy. But I was low-key kind of getting close to my advisor because he literally was my professor for one of my classes. And I'm not gonna lie, he's very chill. Like, you need to keep in mind, these people have been in your place. And some of these teachers are not far from your age, like outside of class or whatever. But yeah, I feel like you should build some type of a bond or some type of a associate relationship with your teachers because then they, they really could help you out here. Counselors, any resources, they'll probably be able to provide it for you if you just ask. Also, when it comes to these professors, I will say, read their rubric because I... <laughs> I know, I know some of y'all be using chat BTBT. I'm not even gonna lie, me too. But yeah, these AI detectives are getting real serious. Like, I had one teacher, she was like, oh yeah, don't even try that chat GBT with me because I'm actually like a part of this team that like does AI checking and this, that, and the third. I said, oh, 
Okay. So yeah, yeah, don't play in their faces because they actually know how it get down. Also, go to their office hours. I kid you not. Please, please do it. If you're really invested in your education, please go to the office hours because they really will be beneficial. I remember I only went twice, but those two times that I went, I've, I've actually learned a lot. I was like, oh, goodness. Why did I waste my time? Anyways, y'all, that is the advice that I could give you so far because... <sighs> Honestly... I wish somebody told me. Like, I really wish somebody was in my face and was like, don't freaking play with your, your life right now. All seriousness, college is fun, y'all. Don't be scared. I know it's a new, you know, little world to walk into. But most of the people that I've met, some of y'all are going to do well. Y'all are mature. But for those that I haven't even met, you know, you're just watching me through the screen. Hello. That's honestly what I could try to give you. If you want me to go more into detail or like the specifics, you know, how to study, all that good stuff, comment down below. Put in the comments, let me know. Because me, myself, I'm still learning. I'm going into my sophomore year, so y'all chill on me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as well as share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.